Assalamu alaikum ladies. So finally I have recorded the video again because the, the one I made yesterday turned out to be 11 minutes and a half and I thought that was a bit too much. And I kind of forgot to talk about some products so might as well do this all over again. So to begin with I should say that I have a sensitive skin. Alhamdulillah I have been blessed with trouble free skin. It hasn't given me acne during my teens or anything like that and just apart from the sunspots that I have on my cheeks that's the only thing that I have so in attempt to look for something that would work for my skin I have tried different products different skincare routines and finally I think I have found something that I like and my skin seems to like so and I'm glad that it includes natural products All right so let's get started I use the Clinique three-step system so in the morning I would wash my face with this which is um, the liquid facial soap mild. I am very dry to dry combination skin. And then I'd follow it up with this, which is the clarifying lotion. As you can see, it's empty. I have now, I have run out of this and have started using this. Can you see it's all lemony? This is actually an um, Capilano <laughs> honey bottle. We finished the honey and I thought this bottle would be good for my toner. This is a DIY um, green tea toner. I found this on YouTube and I'll link all the DIY um, information so you can go check them out and see for yourself how you can make this. Anyway, I'll just tell you what the ingredients are. There is green tea, as you can see, lemon, honey, um, apple cider vinegar, and aloe vera. I, I have and this is my third batch. Previously I had aloe vera, but yesterday when I made this, I couldn't find it. So it's optional, you don't have to, as long as you have the main four ingredients. I store this in the fridge and I use it, I, you know, I put it on a cotton ball and wipe my face with it and let it dry. After it dries, I apply the uh, Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. And I only need one pump, it's enough well, it's really moisturizing and it's enough for my whole face. After using my moisturizer, I let it dry and then I apply this Believe by Selenique, which is off with those heads. This claims to get rid of blackheads and whiteheads. And you apply this, I apply this to the, you know, sides of my nose and on my cheeks where I get the black and white heads. And I actually saw this on Maria Short Nap. Um, uh, video as she did her skincare routine she really liked this and claimed that it did clear hers and I have to say that after about using it for a week or so I have been noticing so it's in my daily routine now and then after I let that dry I used the Believe uh, again Selenique got me covered now, now this is a sunblock of SPF 35 and uh, foundation and oil control so before using this, I didn't. I did realize that I have some oil patches, and it would co kind of shine and stuff. But after using this, I mean, since I've been using this, I've noticed that it mattifies my face, and I don't get that shiny, oily, you know, look. And it is um, quite sheer. It doesn't cover much, but that's okay because I don't want my skin to be covered in, in you know, in foundation. So I really like it and it's got, they only have one shade and apparently it suits all skin tones. So I just put, I just swatch it for you so you can have a look. So it's pretty clear and, and I'm liking this. One thing I forgot to say, bef after my moisturizer and the, off with the heads, I apply my eye cream. I'm using the Clinique All About Eyes Rich and I just apply that under my eyes and on my eyelids. And so that is basically what I just talked about is basically what I do every day, morning and night. Um, at night though, before I wash my face to, get, to take off my makeup, I use um, extra virgin olive oil. Now this is a bottle that I had um, my previous uh, eye makeup remover, which was Yves Saint Laurent Instant Pure Toning and Cleansing Water for Face and Eyes. And this did a really good job, but I wanted to go natural and um, olive oil does a great job. And how I use it is, I pump it onto my 
this bottle has a pump which is why I kept it and I pump it onto my fingers and then rub my eyes very um, lightly and push down very slowly with the lightest pressure on your uh, um, eyelashes to get rid of any mascara you have and then take um, soak some cotton in water and squeeze the excess out and wipe your makeup off and I use one cotton for each eye and then after you know then I go the, through the routine of washing my face, toning, moisturizing, applying the Believe my eye cream and then I would wait for it to sort of seep into my skin and then I would use the Kiehl's Activated Whitening, whitening Cream. Now it says clinically demonstrated to break down pigmentation clusters and inhibit melanin formation for brighter and more translucent skin. Now you might be wondering, Maya, you are white, why are you using a whitening cream? I apparently this gets rid of the sun spots that I have on my skin and that's why I'm using it I don't want to be any whiter I I like the, my skin color um, so yeah now um, as well in my skincare routine I exfoliate I exfoliate every other day so and the two and the two products that I use to exfoliate is the uh, Saint Yves apricot scrub for dry sensitive skin and a let me try to open and this is the um, a DIY uh, extra virgin oily scrub and I got this recipe from Michelle Fan which I'll link in the description box and this these ingredients is olive oil sugar honey and I added some vanilla essence just for it to smell vanilla I don't even know if that's a word but it's my word it's vanilla it smells nice so basically I as I said I alternate days so for example if I scrubbed yesterday I'll scrub with the St. Eve's um, scrub and I won't scrub say tonight and tomorrow I'll scrub with the um, extra virgin oil scrub and I usually do the scrubbing or the exfoliating at night and you know how to exfoliate just switch your face apply some of the product onto your hands and lightly rub onto your skin uh, say with the ring finger because that has the lightest pressure of your fingers and just rub lightly everywhere and then rinse off and pat dry and another thing that I always use day and night is a lip balm this is my lip balm and ladies that's about it that's what, how I take care of my skin and um, as far as the benefit goes for all these DIY stuff that I'm using, um, the links to the videos will give you all the information you need to know. Here, there you go. This gives you an idea on how I take care of my skin. Please share any DIY beauty tips that you have. I'm always on the lookout on how I can include natural products to keep my natural beauty. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, inshallah. Bye.